Good evening, folks. My name is Shane, and I go to Barry Rose Baptist Church in Norman, Oklahoma. We're out here tonight. Our pastor knows we're out here. We're out here with the prayer for the support of our church. We're out here, and you may be wondering why why we are out here, why a guy standing on a box speaking loudly. Well, I'm not mad at anybody. I'm only speaking loudly so that I can be heard. We're out here because of this story out of Matthew 7. And I know that this is a Christian concert. It's billed and promoted as a Christian concert. And we're, we're not out here to protest Winter Jam. We're all for it. We just want to remind you, Jesus has a, a very specific teaching in Matthew 7 that's really for everyone who names the name of Christ, who calls himself a Christian. We should all be familiar with this short story that Jesus tells. And this is, the, this is like the saddest story in the Bible. There are a lot of sad stories in the Bible. This has got to be one of the saddest. It is immensely tragic. This is Jesus out of Matthew 7. He says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Folks, there are people, maybe among you, and I used to be one of those people. I went to church. I claimed Jesus Christ. I taught Sunday school. I even went out and told other people about Jesus. But if I were to die back then, Jesus would have said to me, Depart from me, I never knew you, you worker of lawlessness. That's the reality that Jesus is telling all of us in the church, no matter what church you go to. There are people like this in every church. I don't care how biblical you are or how heretical you are, there are people like this in every church. People who when they die, they're going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ, and Christ is going to be our judge. Okay? Jesus Christ came 2,000 years ago to save. He came to save sinners. Jesus Christ is coming back to judge. And there will be some who say to Jesus on that day, Lord, Lord, I'm calling you Lord. I'm saying it with my mouth. You are my Lord. Jesus is Lord. Yet, their lives do not reflect the Lordship of Jesus Christ because He calls them workers of lawlessness. They are breaking God's law even while they're claiming to Jesus, you're my Lord. The Bible says to examine yourself to see if you're in the faith. That's what we want to challenge each and every one of you to do. Examine yourself. Don't examine yourself according to my standards. I'm the wrong guy to look at for that. 